Now you should received about four charts with your hand reading. And if you'll find the chart that says hand analysis chart, it's got the big hand on it. We're going to basically work off that and we'll bring the other charts in as we need them. First thing you need to know is the left hand is the past and the right hand is the present and the future. It does not matter what handed you are. The left is the past, the right is the present and the future, and uh, we, mo we work mostly off the right hand. That's, uh, uh, I just have to bring the left hand in every little once in a while for a few things. I'll let you know when I do that. Now the length of the fingers is your talents. Everyone has talents. No one gets cheated. So long fingers mean one thing, short fingers mean another thing. Oh, you got some really good fingers, too. Nice long fingers. Now go down to the right hand corner of your chart where it says palm shapes. The palm shape is probably your most important talent. And there's square, there's round, there's long, there's a mixture. Uh, you've got kind of a squarish palm, kind of a rectangular, which is athletic and very practical. Now, upper right-hand corner of your chart, types of fingertips. This is your personality. Oh, yours are all rounded. Round five. Uh, I only do the right hand. Intuitive, quick, compassionate. Should be in the health field. Oh, you're not in the health field, are you? You're in the craft business. <laughs> Generally, I see the round fingertips on the uh, people in the health field, like the doctors, the nurses, the social workers. Okay, jump down there to the thumb now. Going to do your talents. That thumb is kind of long. It means you will do well in life. Good manual dexterity. I guess that's good for what you do. You work well with your hands. That uh, index finger now, the Jupiter finger. Let me explain these names. On uh, Palmistry is about two or 3,000 years old. and They had gone through and they named all of the, well I guess it's about 2,000 years old. They named all the fingers and uh, different areas of the palm. Usually the names they gave them were names of Greek gods or goddesses or astrological names. So that index finger is the Jupiter finger and the middle finger is the Saturn finger. The ring finger is the Sun, sometimes called the Apollo finger and the little finger is the mercury finger and that section in between the heart line and the head line is called the Mars area clear across the palm and then right below the thumb that little fat pad below the thumb that's called the Mount of Venus Venus goddess of love because that's got your sexual libido in it oh uh, and that also tells you if you're drinking enough water oh yours looks good yours is very good you want to see a nice little fat pad in there, so fat you can hardly pick up the skin. Uh, usually, people that aren't drinking water, you'll see little wrinkles in that area, but uh, yours looks yours looks uh, pretty darn good. Okay, back up to that index finger now, the Jupiter finger. There, nice long finger, very good. Long, the boss finger, the manager, leadership supervisor, teaching finger. And that Saturn finger is long, good business sense. Well, it isn't terribly long. It needs to be about as long as the palm, and it just is as long as the palm. Uh, good business sense. You know how to make money. And this is your best one for what you do, your creative finger, your sun finger. Creative, imaginative, inventive, abstract thinker. That's fairly good, too. Little finger's a little bit short. That's your writer's finger. That means you like to write. I don't think that's your favorite thing to do. It's a short hands-on person, very active. You like to be moving around when you work.